Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi my friends out there. How are you doing? Welcome to what promises to be another exciting episode of Maggie Diaries with me, Hanifa Adam, where we cook iftar-worthy meals curated by Maggie and share the love of Islam and arts with you throughout the holy month of Ramadan. And today's episode will be filled with so much learning, fun and cooking. Joining us today in my kitchen is Farha. Assalamu alaikum sis. Wa alaikum assalam. Thank you so much Thank for coming. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited that you are here really because I know too. we are making one of your favorites. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> today we are going to be making a potato meal that is unlike the popular variation of potato meals as we are making shredded beef sauce and mashed potatoes for iftar. We have to go on a quick break and when we come back we will get cooking. Finish work for your cooking with Maggie Chicken. No rival. Maggie Chicken has all the natural ingredients you love, like onion, celery, turmeric, soya, and other carefully selected ingredients to give great taste and rich flavor to all your favorite meals. Maggie Chicken is your secret when it comes to cooking all the dishes you love for that unique chicken flavor. Oh yeah, shine with Maggie Chicken. Cook the difference. Welcome back to Maggie Diaries. In front of me is an array of ingredients that we'll be using to make our beef sauce and mashed potatoes. We're going to be using beef, potato, parsley, onions, carrots, green pepper, cooking cream, scotch bonnet, cornstarch, butter, red sweet pepper, broccoli, cauliflower, yellow pepper, maggi star cube, ginger, garlic, black pepper, and thyme. Oh, and sesame oil as well. So the very first thing we are going to be doing is marinating the beef. Let's put it in here. Yeah, it's already washed and everything. I don't want to add more water to it. So I'm going to marinate it with ginger, some garlic, black pepper, Time. I'm going to be using some of the parsley. I don't want to use everything. You can see that I'm just using some of them. I'm going to be using the rest later. And some onions and sesame oil. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's okay. So you can help me mix all that together while I get our potato cooking. As it has been our tradition on this show, I'm always asking everyone that comes into my kitchen what their favorite thing is about Ramadan and their favorite acts to also partake in during Ramadan. For me, it feels like a combo, like sales. Sales? Like, yeah. Sales of what? <laughs> <laughs> of our duas now, of our prayers. Oh, we're getting more. For less. Oh, you mean oh yes, you know. <laughs> yeah, is it shopping? <laughs> it didn't click on time. Can I guess whether reading the Quran is your favorite activity to do during Ramadan? I'm not the hafiz. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. You're not memorizing Quran anyways. It you is know? the efforts that we put into it there that matters. Some people that read the Quran ten times. That's and true. To be very honest, I, I struggle to even finish one. It doesn't matter. You know, if you actually struggle with reading the Quran, you are rewarded more for it than the people that already even know it. How are you doing over there? It's looking nice. All right, then we're now going to add our Maggie Star Cubes. All right, let's have it. Yeah, your hand is already dirty, so do that one. <laughs> okay. And then the second one. Ooh, this looks pretty already. Thank you. So let's just mix all that up and then set it aside. Okay. Is mashed potato something that you love making or is I it a meal that you I love it so for? much. Oh, I you love do? It. It's a comfort food for me, actually. A comfort food? Yes. What other ways do you eat potatoes? Say chips, definitely. Yeah, when you make it into fries? Yeah. Is that it? And, you know, normal fried ones with the bed sauce. What about porridge? Ooh, the best. <laughs> you must like have... potatoes a lot. Let's set that aside so that, okay. you know, the spices can do the work. The Maggi star cubes inside there are going to elevate the flavor and taste of the meat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you know the nutritional values of what we are making? 
we have proteins, we have, you know, vegetables. the vegetables for the vitamins, we have cream and butter for, you know, that good fat, exactly. And <laughs> it's also right. going to, exactly, it's going to add, you know, a beautiful side to our mashed potatoes. And talking about mashed potatoes, because you say you love it so much and it's a comfort food for you, do you prefer if it's like really creamy or, you know, the lumpy ones? I mean, why would you want mashed potatoes if it's not creamy? Exactly. That is the best, right? But if you are, this, that is what you are going to do today. You are yes, going to be making habit. it really creamy. But if you want some lumps in it, you can actually cook the potato with the skins on okay. and it's going to make sure that it is a little bit lumpy as well. So let me just check up on the potato. That's still cooking. And then the wok is going to dry up soon. I want to reduce the water again. It's going to make it dry faster. Now that that's dried up, I'm going to add some butter to the wok. It's actually supposed to be melted, but we can also melt it on the wok exactly. So it's, it's going to melt anyways. Yay. It's going to just finish melting now. Now that the butter is melted, I'm going to add in the marinated beef. It's been marinating for a while, so we're just going to put it in there, you know, to brown the beef. Okay, this is going to require lots of stirring. You can already smell the butter. And then the fact that we added magista into it is making the taste become elevated so well. I'm just going to stir it together till it looks a little bit brown and cooked. And it's shredded beef, so it cooks faster. So you don't have to like spend so much cooking time on it. I'm going to check the potatoes. Okay, oh. this is coming to a boil already. But we yeah. need to be really, really soft. Exactly, we are going to be mashing it up. Ooh. And as you can see, the beef as well, the juice, juicy. exactly. The reason why <laughs> we cook it first is because we want to release the juice. Oh. It is going to serve like stock, really, All right. to make everything cook together. And if you do not have enough stock in the wok, you can actually add a little bit of water to it. I'm going to add the chili. It's really optional, but because we like pepper in Nigeria. Should, should I add everything? Please add everything. Okay. <laughs> It's like you're not afraid of pepper. So I'm going to afraid. add all this. <laughs> afraid? <laughs> Your exactly. ancestors will be proud. Exactly. They get it right. I love spice too as well. I cannot eat any food that does not have pepper. Then let us add the broccoli. Okay. Okay, you know what? Let's add water because I want it to make it more saucy. All right. Yeah. And then the cauliflower as well. I've already blanched the cauliflower and broccoli. Blanching is basically putting the vegetable in hot water and then running it under cold water. That way, you will keep the integrity of the vegetable. The color will still pop. In fact, the green is going to pop out more. And then I'm going to add the carrots, the shredded okay. carrot. Thank you. Oh, they did the honors. <laughs> so pretty. Then I'm going to let that cook for a while, just a very short time. I'm still going to add more water, like, because when we add the slurry, we still want it to have some body and, like, more sauce for us to take with our mashed potatoes. And while that is mixing together, I'm going to add two more Maggi star cubes. Okay. I really like this dish for iftar because it seems very easy and fast to make. Exactly. You know, you're already and exhausted from fasting all day. So now I'm going to add the slurry just to thicken it up a bit. We do not have much time because after the slurry, we are going to add the rest of the vegetables and we are basically done. Anifa, yeah? what else can we use to eat the sauce as a side? You can use rice to consume the sauce. You can also use pasta. It is a fantastic side to that. Oh, this looks oh, amazing. Very Honestly. And very colorful. And it smells so nice. I know, <laughs> there is red, orange. Uh, this is a rainbow, honestly, because there's even the purple of the onions in it. <laughs> <laughs> and when your plate is colorful like this, when your pot is colorful like this, you definitely know that it is nutritious and has lots of vitamins. The sauce is basically done. 
We don't want to overcook the vegetables, you know, because we still want to keep in the really good nutrients in it. It's a bit crunchy. Yeah. We are going to also check on, oh, that is also almost done and we are just ready to mash it. We are going to go on a quick break and when we come back, we are going to face our mashed potatoes. I'm just going to check on our potato. It looks like it's cooked. Oh, that's perfect. Because it went through, I'm just going to turn off the heat and we'll sieve it. Careful. Ooh. Sizzling. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're just going to return it to the pot. Yeah, sorry. We don't want any water inside. Since you promised you help me mash. Here you go. Okay, like I mentioned earlier, and we were talking about whether you like this smooth, creamy, or lumpy. This is a nice way to like get the creamy texture because we are going to mash it till everything is completely fine. Have you heard that some people use Blender or food processor to do it? Oh, why? <laughs> I was to be light. I was to be light, true, true. Because <laughs> when you use that method, it releases the starch and we don't get that smooth, nice, texture creamy texture, exactly. And there is also a really fabulous way to get that a very nice creamy texture. It's like when you run it through a sieve, okay. like especially a metal sieve, it's going to be like very, very fine and smooth as well. That's well done. Stressful. Let me start bringing out my Maggi chicken cube because we are going to use it to flavor our mashed potatoes. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to season it with Maggi chicken. Continue, ah, continue mashing. <laughs> we'll mix it all up together. Okay. And then a little bit of black pepper. Okay, that's okay, all right. I think everything is mashed together now. So we're just going to use the melted butter. We have to carefully fold everything into it. Like I said, we do not want to agitate the mashed potato too much. Uh, you can see how creamy that looks, especially after the butter has been added to it. Oh, it also smells divine, especially with the butter and the exactly. seasoning that we, exactly and the seasoning that we have inside. There's just the way Maggie elevates the tastes and aroma, aroma. of your food. And we are done. That's it. Our sauce is also ready. So we are going to go on a quick break now, and when we come back, our meal is going to be plated and ready for iftar. Finish work for your cooking with Maggi Chicken. No rival. Maggi Chicken has all the natural ingredients you love, like onion, celery, turmeric, soya, and other carefully selected ingredients to give great taste and rich flavor to all your favorite meals. Maggi Chicken is your secret when it comes to cooking all the dishes you love for that unique chicken flavor. Oh yeah, shine with Maggie Chicken. Cook the difference. <laughs> um, Farha, Surura, you have to promise me that you're going to make this for your family and friends. Definitely. I definitely will. It looks so lovely. What do you it think? It's so nice too. Oh. Okay, we can start eating now. <laughs> this means that. We have truly outdone ourselves in the kitchen today and we are joined at the iftar table by my friends because everyone is welcome at the Maggie iftar table as I hope they are welcome at yours too. So like come your way with another episode, spread the love and the essence of Ramadan through Sadaqah and may Allah reward you. Masalam. Ma